All right, folks here, this is the Moto Mouth Formant Filter, um, which was a Lima Flow Kickstarter product, and now we've got it in kit form, completed form, PCB panel with programmed IC form, and it is a very cool project. It's actually one of the coolest I've seen. So let's um, turn it up and hear it just real quick. You're going to enjoy this. Oh, yeah. And I have the one volt per octave going into the CV input, so it's also going to change which vowel it's on. So. So very cool. Let's take a look at some of the features here, how it works. So um, what you have here on the inputs down below, you got CV input. CV input is, um, it, it's intended for 0 to 1.25 volts. And that is a 1 volt per octave um, setting. And what that will allow you to do if you put in between 0 and 1.25 volts, each note on your keyboard here will actually move it up one of the different vowel sounds here. So you can use a one volt per octave setting on your keyboard, a little over an octave will get you between all the different vowels, which is really cool and uh, very interesting. See that switch right here, this snap switch. Um, what that allows you to do is it allows you to put a gate signal in. So right now I am going to put our gate signal in from the MIDI to CV converter, the wonderful MST MIDI to CV converter here. Okay, signal out. And if you plug it into here, what it does is it snaps when you're using CV in or just moving the knob. It allows it if you get a gate signal, instead of having it smooth through the different vowels, when it's got a gate, it'll actually snap to the next vowel um, and kind of override that morph setting. So let's see what happens when we use the morph setting and when we don't use the morph setting, you'll see that it snaps directly to a sound. So let's hear this. All right, so if I turn this morph setting all the way down, you'll see that it distinctly moves between the different vowel sounds, okay? If we turn this morph setting way up, you'll see that it does it actually really smoothly. So what the gate input here allows you to do, it allows you, as you're moving it, What it allows you to do is as you're moving this and hitting like a gate on your keyboard, it'll override that morph and go and snap to the next vowel. Really useful. Okay, so what I've done here is I've connected um, the pitch CV going into my oscillators out of the main MIDI to CV unit. Uh, the expander, which you can barely see here, is going to be doing low note priority. And um, I'm going to be controlling the the vowel sound, or which vowel it's choosing on the on the on motor mouth filter here, by the low note priority. So if I play a note here, it's just all going to be the same because high and low is the same when you're just playing one note at a time. Okay, but now I can also play a higher pitch, and then with my left hand here, I can be changing which vowel sound I'm on. So. Which is cool. And of course here um, on the on the module here, you can see the vowel code is going to choose which actually vowel sound you're on. And consult a manual on some of that stuff. But a very cool way of using it. And like I said, the gate signal, of course, can also snap you to um, a particular vowel sound instead of going through the more smooth morph. But let's do that same thing we were doing here by 
having high and low note priority, my left hand here affecting the change of the vowel sound and my right hand here affecting uh, the, the pitch, so. And I got the morph up, so it's gonna smoothly move between the vowel sounds. So real fun, uh, Moto Mouth is going to be available in kit form, of course. We, everything we do here is in the Tekka's kits. Um, it's going to have a metal panel. It's also going to have a potential for a black panel. It has. It's going to be. It's going to be a PCB panel combo with programmed ICs, the ones that would need to be programmed, and also, of course, it'll be complete, calibrated, and all that. Um, so check out more information at synthotech.com, and uh, we're really excited to announce this.